hard to see all this. Um, number six, a random and randomly chooses a single ball from the can. Um, find the odds against the events. Okay, so odds come from probability. Um, and this is the, the best way I can say do odds. You find out um, what we're looking for. Um, and then we're going to do the opposite of that. So we want odds against a red. So we don't want a red. Okay. So I guess it would be easier just to show you what odds are. So the odds of a red. Let me just show you the, the odds of red. Odds. The best way I can explain this is by doing it. How many reds do we have? Let's say odds of red. Okay. So how many reds do we have? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there are six reds. And then how many other balls or marbles are there? One, two, three, four, five. There's five, yellow and blue. But it, it doesn't matter. They're, they're the ones that are not red. So the odds of red, there's six reds to five other. Like you don't actually do probability. This is odds against. So probability, if I talked about the probability of a red, Probability would be 6 and then the 6 plus 5 because this is the two separate groups. Odds just separates them into two different groups and then pits them against each other. So 6 to 5. But if you add them up, you will get 11. So the probability is 6 out of 11. But what odds does is it takes that number on top and then subtracts it from that bottom and puts it here. So this is odds of getting a red, but we want odds against a red. So I'm going to say odds of our complement, so the opposite of a red. And this means it's just going to reverse that. 5 to 6. So you count what's not red, and then the, the red goes over there. So odds is always separated with this colon, or they put that word 2 there. That's the same thing. So odds against a red would be 5 to 6. So odds against blue or yellow. So this is just the reverse. So this was odds of, I'm going to say, blue or yellow. But this apostrophe means opposite of or the complement of. So odds of blue or yellow but not. So we're going to count all the ones that are not blue or yellow, which we've already done. There, there were six reds, six. And then the ones that are blue or yellow, there's five. So, so just the reverse of that, six to five. <clears throat> Odds against blue or yellow in lowest terms. That should be it. Oh, I'm sorry. They changed the picture. I didn't notice. Odds against blue or yellow. So this time there are three reds. Okay, so we need three here. And then how many, I guess I should make this big. How many are blue or yellow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three to eight. Okay, so I got to be careful. So how many are not blue or yellow first? Because that's what we want against. We don't want those. And then the rest of them that are blue or yellow goes on the other side. So 3 to 8. I did not notice that they changed the image. <clears throat> okay, um, number 8. We have five people. Alan, Bill, Karina, David, Erica, form a club. So we have A, B, C, D, E. And Karina and Erica are women. The others are men. We want to choose a president randomly and find the odds against Erica becoming president. So the fact that they're female, it doesn't mean any, anything. It doesn't uh, change the problem. We just want to find the odds against Erica. So we don't want Erica. So how many of these people are not Erica? There are four of them that are not Erica. 
and there's one. So there's four to one odds against her becoming. So not her is in that group um, since they're saying against. So there's four against two, one. 